I might have found the best Stardew custom NPC mod I've ever seen. On the day when I was just casually scrolling through Nexus, a certain mod called My Eye, Katriel the Glitch, a custom NPC that lives in the code of the game coming to life. The concept was so interesting I knew I had to check it out, and what I got was one of the most adorable, well written and unique mods I have ever played. To get the Zero Heart event, we need to repair the wooden bridge down at the beach. And if any of you thought you were going to see actual Stardew Valley gameplay, uh, no, no, we, we cheat around here. Absolutely not. I believe if we head down to the beach, Willy will be waiting for us. Oh, ahoy there, Nino. Have you caught any nighttime fish? Say, by chance have you seen a lassie? Walk on the water. Bit of a scary thing to say so late at night, Willy. I saw her with me own two eyes. It could have been nothing. I am getting quite old, and I can only see as far as my line goes in the cat in the water. If you don't mind doing an old sea dog a favor, could you check on the other pair for me? Maybe there's something over there worth looking at. Though perhaps you should check in the morning. If there's a ghost over there, Willy, I don't want to see it. Like, I'm just a simple farmer. What do you want me to go risk my life for? Is there something on the water? Oh my god, what? Wait, what the fuck? What was that? Was that Jesus Christ? Reincarnated as an ego? Did she go into those rocks? Who was that? <laughs> wait, wait. Calm, calm. How far can we walk? Only to the rocks? We can click on them. What? We've entered purgatory and it's in jojima there is a trash can in the way perhaps it might be a good idea to come back here another day oh so it wants us to come back in the morning like willie said the glitches are so scary look at the world just like freaking out hang on what is this red thing i know we make a lot of jokes in our stardew series about like sacrifice pets but I don't know if it's a joke this time. She plays guitar though, that's kind of cool. She can be friends with Sam. Okay, let's go to sleep and see what happens in the morning. In the rock we go. Where is she, Catriel? Hey, what is this? Day 35, I passed by Sam's house again. He's gotten really good at playing the guitar. I told you they would be friends. They can bond over their love for music. I wonder how cool it would be to meet him in person. He's really goofy and his guitar playing is amazing. He's so comfortable to just watch. Is she staring at the residents like from the void? Did I stumble across another Yandere mod? I feel a little tingly inside thinking about him. I've never felt this way before. It's kind of nice, but... I'm a little scared to get close to him. Okay, so she's stalking Sam. Well, there she is. Oh my God, she's so cute. I'm pretty sure today's Sunday. It's a great time to kick back and take a break. Oh, she's not scary at all. She just is like terminally online. I'm just keeping track of the things going on here. Hey, are you not like freaked out but that someone just walked into your house? We miss dialogue where she states that this is the first time she's ever talked to someone and she's still not freaked out that I'm in the room. Everyone likes banana pudding, right? Much thanks. I've been wanting something to toss into the void. Okay, maybe not banana pudding then. <laughs> Give her bug steak. Thanks a bunch, you know. No clue as to why no one else likes this. But more for me. Oh, uh, okay. So interdimensional beings like bug steaks. Oh, she's in bed. I wonder if it's a bad day for her. Oh no, it's just seven o'clock in the morning. We can snoop around while she's resting though. Haven't you seen a guitar like this somewhere before? Is that Sam's guitar? She's a thief. The laptop is open to a wiki page titled Moon Mist Acropolis Wiki. The current page is of an extensive list of changes in the game. Even characters in the game have to use the wiki. Oh. Whoa, where did you come from? I wasn't expecting to see you there. Though I guess it's expected to see you this early, huh? Farmers usually are early birds after all. Ah, don't, <laughs> get away demon girl. I don't usually leave this early to go to town. Am I the only one that's able to see her? But only a couple people are milling around at this time. It's a good opportunity to walk around without running into anyone. Though, truth be told, I'm actually more of a night owl. But ever since I met you, this is one of the only times I feel comfortable to go out. I don't really know how to feel now, but I don't think things are changing. Whoa, that's Sam's guitar playing. He never plays it this early. How do you know that? Do you watch him sleep? If she looks through her w his window, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. What a treat. He sounds awesome. Huh? 
What happened? Sam, stop practicing your guitar. You already woke up your brother, and you're going to wake up all the neighbors next. All right, Mom. Oh, shit. Why are you standing outside our house? Call the police, Vince. What? <laughs> it's... Wait, the way she just rocketed down. Here's the crazy part of this mod. This mod has a lot to it in the main path, but the craziest part is there's a secret route and we are going to go down the secret route today. So to do that, we need to go into Sam's room when he has two hearts with us. Hey Sam, you've enjoyed the music Sebastian and I played when we were practicing, right? I'd rather listen to um, cats fighting in a bag. Well, I'm still working on that. I'm, I still wanted to write another song. It's not so much for the band to play on a stage or something like that. It's more about experimenting with what sounds good. I've been having a hard time making any progress though. It came to mind this morning, but my mom asked me to stop playing and I couldn't remember it. Anyway, come to think of it, I might as well ask you. Oh, say the first thing off the top of my head. Um, uh, a farmer single-handedly <laughs> saving the entire economy. If we give him inspiration to write about a mysterious girl walking on the water, then when Catriel creepily just like stalks Sam, she'll notice he's singing about what seems like her. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that sounds amazing. Uh, okay, I, I got a couple of new ideas to test out. I'm gonna start practicing now. Hey. Nino, I'll talk to you later, all right? Vince is like, she was in my window. <laughs> but I wasn't the only one that was able to see her. Willie could sort of see her too. It's just no one trusts Willie because he's the crazy old man that lives in the cabin by the sea. Hey, is this a letter? Day 203? All these items I found proved to be very intriguing. Upon further investigation, they do not appear to have a third dimension. And they all have the power to teleport me from here to a specific location by touching them. It took a little while, but with some plastic bags covering my hands, I was able to bring them here to use just in case I found myself unable to freely leave. She's just got CJB cheats installed. Did they give Sebastian a bong? So what does this one have to say? Does it change every day? You're day 386. After yesterday, I couldn't just watch him anymore. What? I left him everything that he loves on his tabletop. A pumpkin, a sea cucumber, some mead, and a diamond. Literally anything to cheer him up, but nothing was working. He just sat outside the entire day. Staring at his fishing rod in the water, letting whatever takes the bait to swim away. Then he reels it up, replaces the bait, and throws his line back in the water. And that's what he did the entire day. She's not talking about Sam, she's talking about Willie? I'm so sorry for what happened. What? What did you do to Willie? There's this one time where my face was replaced with Abigail's? It was our new level of identity crisis? I think she could be good friends with Seb and Abigail. Okay, let's go see her four hard events. I believe we need to go up to the mountains and she should be there just waiting for us on the river. And that's not terrifying at all. I'm just waiting for Abigail and Sebastian. I heard that we're going to be exploring the caves today and I'm sure something interesting is gonna happen. Though I can't find a good hiding spot that gives me a chance to see everything. Just say hi. Linus is like, oh, so I see he's met the demon girl. Why does she not want to run into people? No, actually, I want to know what she thinks is going to happen between them. I'd call myself a Sebigail shipper. Oh my god, she actually is just the Stardew community. Oh gosh, maybe Abigail trips and Sebastian heroically catches her before she falls. Or maybe it's the other way around. Abigail can be a pretty tough girl after all. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I don't see Sebastian being the one to save Abigail. Oh shit, here she comes. Oh fuck, which one do we choose before they see us? Uh, do you want to be friends with them? I've been alone for the longest time, Nino. I've been doing everything I could to stave off my inevitable insanity. There's a comfort in watching people doing things they do, like watching two people potentially share a romantic moment with each other, but it's also meaningless. They have no bearing on my life, and I have no bearing on theirs, but there's a part of me that doesn't want to be pointless. I want them to mean something to me, because otherwise there's no reason to care about anything or anyone. And maybe I'd be able to find the reason for my own existence, but then again, all I can do is watch, because I've never had an impact on anyone, or at least that was the case for my life so far. I'd like to be friends with them, as with everyone in Pelican Town, but I don't know how to do that. I barely know how to be friends with you. Abigail's like, who the hell is that? Who are you talking to, Nino? Who are you talking to? See, she doesn't know. Oh, 
Sorry, she's glitching out, dude. And she's gone. She went into the wired. What was that all about? Catrial is a friend? An omnipotent being? If we say a friend, it looks like we're insane. I don't think standing on the warrior and teleporting constitutes being all powerful. Wait, did you see her? Cat seems really cool though. Uh, hopefully she'll teach me how to do those things. The mines awaits. Feel free to come if you'd like, Nino. The more the merrier after all. Mm, I think you guys should have a little bit of alone time together. Too bad Sam wasn't able to come though. He mentioned something about practicing. Not much we can do there anyway. Sebastian, Nino, let's go. Not you, Linus, you stay here. Oh, and here they are. We weren't able to find anything at all, but it was still fun, right, Sebastian? I guess so, but my work messaged me before we could go any deeper in the mines. Alfred's been calling me. Oh, Sam, hi. You finally finished practicing? Yeah, but I'm still having trouble getting the right sound. I've been stuck on this for a while. Anyway, how was your adventure? It went all right. Me and Sebastian got back safe and sound, but all we found was some rocks. I mean, yeah, that's all there is in the mines, I'll be honest. Yeah, and we also met Nino's friend, Catrial. Did you know Cat can stand on water? They're saying it like she could just, like, she's really good at Mario card or something she teleported away from us that catrial sure is a mysterious one mysterious girl on the water oh my god sam's two brain cells just made their first connection catrial hey can you can you let me know if you're planning on seeing her again she sounds super cool and well i i guess i'd like to meet her oh so are you interested in her sam i am not it's just that nino told me something about a mysterious girl on the water and Okay, maybe just a little bit, but just to meet her and get some inspiration for my music. Got it? The sprite was so funny. We just left. Were we just listening to that the whole time? She seemed really anxious though. I'll be sure to ask her if she'll be comfortable with that. I'll be rooting for you, Sam. Whoa, the story thickens. Tips, is there anything we should be looking out for? Any secrets that should we, we should be looking out for? Well, for starters, the music in Catrial's house. There's music in Catrial's house? Whoa. This is creepy. She's still in bed. It's okay. We can stalk her later while we're here. Day 385. G oh. Dude, she's speaking Polish. It just must be like random letters. Do you want the translation? Okay, yeah, I'll have the translation. Willie came home from being out at sea and collapsed from his boat onto the piers. Tears were pouring from his eyes and he was just whimpering. Lenore, Lenore the entire time. Even with the weird glitching going on, I tried to pat his back to cheer him up. If that was what it took for me to finally be visible to everyone, then so be it. But he reached his hand towards the sky and started shouting her name louder and louder. I ran back home and climbed straight into bed, but I couldn't get the image of his face out of my mind. But what happened to Lenore? All I know is that she's gone. Kay. I feel like she did something to Willie's assumed wife that means that she's now visible. At first glance, you'd think Emily's the goofball of her family. Spiritually minded. <laughs> Her appearance, her secret hobby, it screams childish and irresponsible, but she exercises regularly, cleans around her house, and has a job. Haley, on the other hand, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we always knew Haley was more of the, uh, uh, how to put this nicely, less put together of the two. What does she do aside from taking photos of things? All right, calm down now, you're, you're, this is my girl you're talking about, Kat. Haley, what are you doing out here, my girl? The lake looks really nice this morning. Hope that one comes out good. A frog! Usually they don't come out in this weather. Oh, this is perfect. I forgot my Haley voice. Hold still. Don't scare it away. Cat, cat! You scared the frog! So the flower pot brings me here. That's good to... No! My, sh my shot! Hey, you ruined my picture. She shouldn't be here yet. I'm very sorry. Dude, Haley's breaking the cannon. Puh. Figures, a fashion disaster like you would mess up my photo? God damn! Are you really wearing a turtleneck sweater with those pants? Doesn't suit your all, girl. That's my girl, Haley. Oh, okay, now I feel bad. 
And newsflash, your hairstyle is incredibly tacky. Did your mom dye your hair for you too? Oh my god, okay, maybe, maybe reel it back a bit. At least I know how to dye my own hair without anyone's help. They're throwing haymakers, dude! What? You heard me. Dude, she's doing the anime glasses push. I don't need to have a sister to do every little thing for me. Oh, Emily, I'm too lazy and spoiled to make clothes I like. Can you, can you make them for me? Or better yet, why don't you ask your mom? Oh, wait. Your parents ditched you in Pelican Town, didn't they? Well, they're having the time of their lives. Here you are, barely knowing how to take care of yourself. Holy shit! She said you swing for the queen, you best not miss, Haley. I stay away from me, you freak. Phew. Hey, Nino. Did you see me talk to someone? And I did it without impulsively teleporting out of there. I think I'm getting the hang of this whole communicating thing. You went way too far. Listen, I love Haley. She's my favorite. But if you gotta throw it, you gotta take it, you know? I think let's take an easy route here. Let's go catch her out. You should have been more careful. You're right. I shouldn't be messing around with teleporting items at this time of day. I would have never ended up in a situation with her otherwise. All's well that ends well, as Haley's like crying in the forest running home. Hey Nino, I feel like indulging in risky behaviors today. Why are you smirking when you're saying that? What have you got planned? Do you mind walking me home today? I miss walking around whenever I want and you can let me know if there's anyone ahead. I'll walk back home if there is. She wants to take the human route back. What was that? What was that? What was that? What the fuck was that? You guys saw that, right? Was that Leah, Penny, and Jess in like a cult circle? It's not that I don't believe you, but I feel like I, a couple of people might have seen me. You, do you, you just shouted at Haley? you think? It was probably just a glitch, and it's probably nothing anyway. I'll be good from here, Nino. Haley? I saw you talking with her. You two dogs are perfect for each other. Sorry, not sorry. You tell that creep to never talk to me like that ever again. Huh, she's lucky the picture actually came out okay. What just happened? Also, I swear to God, look at this. Did you, there, there, did you see that? What is this? Marnie, Jess, and Leah. Is this a frog cult? Blood for the blood frog. What do you know? The blonde lady doesn't have anything to complain about. I can't see my parents either. Blood for the blood frog. I don't like that child. She freaks me out. Hello? Ah! Oh, N Nino, it's you. Oh, sorry, I'm still a little jumpy after running into Haley. Do you need anything? Uh, I need you to keep an eye on Jazz. The flower pot. Yeah, I'll, I'll be leaving it there for tomorrow. I just wanted to relax a bit. What about the bong? Have you tested the bong yet? I mean, for teleportation, of course. Anyway, did you need- Nino! Hey, where'd you go? I want to talk to you about something. Huh? I'm standing on water? Was that just Sam's voice? I think he followed you, Nino. Don't look at me mad about that! What was I meant to do? Never mind. He's not coming in, right? Wrong! Well... <laughs> What well, Sam's like, I shouldn't have eaten those brownies that Seb gave me. What is this place? <laughs> what is this place? Forget it, Nino. Please, please, please get him out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and Okay, bye. Just leave me in this situation. Sure. Uh hey Sam! A hidden wall? That's so cool! Is this Catriao's house? It's a really weird place, but it's kind of nice, don't you think? Amanda Zuzu Stratomagic guitar with a full royal blue finish? And the strings look a little worn. Someone's definitely been playing this for a while. But I had a guitar like this before getting my new one from Jojamar. Why would she have this guitar? I think the matchmaker is three. That Catriel was watching Sam play the guitar and thought it was so cool that she needed it herself. Oh really? I, I guess it must have been by chance then. You know, I'm sorry I've been so pushy with meeting her. I can't get her out of my mind. Ever since you told me about her. You haven't even met her. I was finally able to figure out the tune I was going for. But if for some reason, that image of a girl walking on water comes racing back into my head. And now that I've walked on water to get here, and being in her home, 
My imagination is going nuts. I think we should leave. It's I don't think it's good for us to be here when she's not home, but she does exist. I just need to meet her. Nino, will you help me? Uh, I guess. Catriel sent us a letter. Hi, Nino. Thank you for getting him out of the house. But I know you two were talking when I left. He doesn't hate me, right? I hope that's not the case. You need to fill me in on this information because this is one of the few times I'm really in the dark. By the way, the warping item I used sent me to Sebastian's house. And on my way out and away from town for the night, Sebastian mentioned that Sam really did want to see me and... You know what? We can talk about this another time in person. So small thing with eight heart, if you want, you can gun for the bad ending and restart the day. There's a bad ending? Oh, we have to get that. Day 453. Something's not right. The void began to rumble and squirm today and a bright light flashed inside my house. I couldn't see anything, so I had to step outside where the light dissipated across the broken wooden bridge. I saw that new farmer running around on the beach. They were far more erratic than any of the other villagers I have ever encountered. They seem far more capable than anyone else I've ever seen. But it's nothing. Right? The rumbling was probably just from the landslide in the mountains being fully cleared up. And the bright light? Maybe just a glitch? I hope I'm correct. K. But oh, she's just creepily watching them? Psst! Come here! I was just watching Sam, Abigail, and Sebastian play pool. I want to talk to you about something. Follow me. Wait, where are you taking me? I just wanted to go play Junimo Kart. I'm at a crossroads, Nino. My mind and my heart are completely torn. I spoke with Sebastian when I walked to his house after Sam barged into my house, and he said that he's supportive of us getting together. But he said I need to introduce myself to Sam. I always hate when you actually have to talk to the person you want to date. And before that, I would need to introduce myself to everyone. I've been deliberating it regardless. After all the time, we've been getting closer. I've made my decision. Nino, I think I'm ready to reveal my existence to Pelican Town. I can only see this going bad for you. What do you think? That's a great idea. These people aren't worth it. They ain't worth it. Huh? What? Why would... I don't understand. It, it felt like the right thing to do. People can see me, Nino. I, I can't deny that. Abigail, Sebastian, Haley, you, even Sam. You really think living with these people isn't worth my time, effort, and care? After all this, was I wrong to want to be a part of them the entire time? Is she gonna, like, destroy this world? Oh my god, she is destroying this world. Fine, I'll listen to you. You're still my friend. So I'm okay with talking to you, but I'll stick with watching everyone else from afar. I feel like an idiot for even caring for all of these stupid, but it's for the best. I'm sorry for crying so much and wasting your time. I want to be alone. Let me end this. Now. Is she still alive? Dude, she's gone. Did she delete herself? What does the note in her room say? Day 397. Willie returned from the bathhouse. Willie showers? Carrying his rod over his shoulder. Smiling like he's a new man. What happened to him? That emotionally destroyed wreck of an entity I saw about a week ago? Hearing his conversations with everyone, he's just urging everyone to start fishing. Not too many people knew about her. Let alone about her passing. Safer. Maybe Elliot. But this is something I don't think I could continue to watch because of how haunting everything was. This is one of the few times I'll look away and not see where this goes. K. Her final message? Uh, I don't want to go down the bad path. I'm, I'm, re I'm, I'm restarting the day. Can I talk to Catriel before the heart event, actually? Before we came here, Willie had a partner named L Lenore. She was sweet polite and gorgeous, basically everything he wasn't, but they both loved the sea. One day, Lenore and Willie went boating out to the sea. And then... She's just at Ginger Island, right? I'm sure she's fine. Alright, we're back! Hey, Cutrell! You don't remember anything from last time, right? 
I think I'm ready to reel my existence to Pelican Town. That's a great idea. You definitely should do it. You're right, though I'm still scared out of my mind. Nino, you better be willing to help me through all of this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not terrified for my life. I'll help you. But I don't think I'm particularly ready to. Where are you going? If you bring anyone in here, I'll leave. Okay, okay, I won't leave. But I am still angry at you. Why? What did I do? Just kidding. But I'm only willing to talk to Sebastian and Abigail. And definitely not Sam. Do you mind getting them too? Hey, your cat, right? It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Did we just leave Sam by himself playing pool? He's like, oh man, you guys are awfully quiet today. Still shy as ever, huh? You look like you're ready to leave like last time. Yet, yeah, you seemed comfortable talking to me about- Shh, don't, don't say anything. Catrell, have you decided to move to Pelican Town? Yes, I am. I haven't mentioned my arrival to anyone else yet, and I asked Nino for help. Well, we can let Mayor no Lewis know, so he can do the same stuff he did for Nino. He should be in the saloon. Let's tell him now. By the way, Nino, Catrell, Sam's been practicing a special song for a little while now. Hopefully he doesn't get too deep into it and forget to actually meet you too. But just in case, Catrell, he should pass by his house after the welcoming party. I've never seen him so motivated to write a song before. Anyway, welcome to Pelican Town, Catrell. You watch as a small crowd congregates in the center of the saloon. Guess, my I stand on the counter? D no, that's so rude. I know you have an announcement to make, but I'd prefer if you didn't stand on. Oh my God, <laughs> there he goes. He's like, this is my town. I do what I want. Nino has informed me that someone will be moving in in a couple of. Soon. So let's do our best to give Kachial a warm Pelican Town welcome. Oh, this is who I think it is. I remember her. She was outside listening to the guitar playing from next door. Oh, she enjoys listening to my music? If Catriel needs a place to stay, I'll be more than happy to introduce myself to her. I'll get started on building them a home to live on. Well, I'm rather excited to meet her soon. For some reason, I imagine her as a woman with teal and magenta hair and a dusky blue turtleneck sweater, correct? Yes, have you two seen the green maiden of the gem sea? I have seen a mystical woman who looks like that, and she was able to walk on water. Maybe it's her special ability. Ah -ha 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 -ha. I like that they've all seen her. My niece mentioned seeing a strange woman having an argument with someone. She also mentioned something about blood for a blood frog. I can only vaguely remember how she looks like, but I don't remember much of anything else. I wasn't expecting you, me, or Jazz to have all seen her, yet not see her. I didn't even believe she existed. You saw her because you were having your weird cult meeting. My mighty Elliot and I swear we saw her. Sure as a me lying in the water. My, my. Maybe it wasn't necessary to make an announcement after all. It seems like everyone's already heard of her. Oh, Sam, why does it make you sad? At the very least, I'm excited to meet her as well. Leave the welcoming party preparations to myself and Gus. We'll be ready to welcome her anytime between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Very specific, you don't miss that. <laughs> Very wide, wide time frame. So everyone in town has seen her before. She was not very discreet. Fun fact, if you've seen none of her events, no one would have seen her. What? Wait, wait, this is crazy. You skip forward just to her eight hearts and hadn't seen any of her other events. It would have been completely different dialogue. Almost no one says anything. Wow, that is commitment to the mod. I That's crazy. Lois, have you got everything prepared for Katriel's party? I'm surprised with how many people were willing to help us set up. Leah, Alia, Abigail, even Shane and Marnie offered some help. Shane, it really feels like there's a big festival today. Why did no one throw a party for me? You slowly bring Crutchiao into the center of the town. Should I still keep my eyes closed? I feel really nervous though. Oh, I can open them? Wow, cute! Surprise! Welcome, Catriel. Linus is into the food already. Jazz is like, I've seen her in the void. Is everyone in Pelican Town here? No, Sam's missing. Seems like it. Where's Sam? Hi, everyone. Thank you for the warm welcome. I, Cat, is everything okay? Hopefully this isn't too overwhelming for you, but we're all happy to have you come out. Don't worry, Miss Catriel. I moved in a little while ago and Nino moved in just this year. Trust me, you'll fit right in. We're all here to help each other out and take care of each other. For example, if you need a place to live, I'll be more than happy to build you one for a certain price point. 
If he makes a sale point right now... Oh, and also, if you need any shopping done, feel free to pass by my store right over there. Pierre, stop trying to make a sale in this very special emotional moment. Ugh. Cat, if nothing else, I'll be here to be your friend. We're all here for you, and we're happy to have you here, Cat. I would say welcome to Pelican Town, Catriel. But it seems like you're already a member of our quaint community. Oh, she's crying. Thank you for giving me the best welcome a person could ever ask for. Everyone celebrated Catriel's welcoming party. And now Catriel is officially a part of Pelican Town. <gasps> but he didn't show up. Dude, Sam, what? You fumbled the bag, bro. What happened? I have to make little reminders for myself or else I'll totally forget to do things. Like show up to a certain, maybe a certain celebration party. Oh, she's waiting outside his door. She's back to creeping on him. I can feel my heart fluttering out of my chest. But everyone told me to come here to meet him. Okay, here we go. Oh man, I, I think she's here. Come on, Sam. She's just the person that inspired my latest song. <laughs> inspired the fact you never met her. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Um. Hey. Hey, Sam. I've never been this close to him before. Mom? Vince? Huh. Must have been the wind or something. He can't see her? What? Sam? You don't see me, do you? I heard everyone outside. And Catriel's supposed to introduce herself sometime today. But she still hasn't showed up. Maybe she doesn't want to see me after all. No, 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 no. I've been waiting to meet you for so long, Sam. I think you're really cool and creative and funny and you have such a kind heart. And I really, really love your music. It makes me so happy that you wrote a song about me. For me. And I'm not familiar with the feeling. But I think I'm really in love with... But still... Why did my door open? Maybe there's a draft or something? Sebastian's mom might be able to find where it's coming from. She knows stuff about houses. What am I doing? You still can't hear me. Can't see me? Can't hear me. Just like how everything was before Nino came here. But now, why you? Out of everyone, why is it only you can't see me? I'm right here, Sam. Right in front of you, please just say anything to me. <laughs> I shouldn't give up hope just yet, but I still need a little bit of more time to practice. Gotta make her song perfect, that's all. I'm sure meeting her will be worthwhile. How can you still have any hope? As far as I'm concerned, I'm just a ghost to you. I give up. I guess there's just some things that were never meant to be. Man, what I wouldn't do to finally see her. I'm sorry for being selfish, Sam, but I want to leave here today with no regrets. Damn. Goodbye. Wait! <gasps> Catch your owl? Sam, you can... Hey! I wrote you a song and... You just gonna drop that bombshell on me? The music! Where is she? Cat? Catriel and Sam aren't single anymore! There is a secret event that happens. If Sam is at eight hearts, it plays differently. And I kind of want to see what happens. So this time around, if we put Sam up to eight hearts, something different happens in this cutscene? She's not there. We don't get her perspective. 
Oh, you can even hear the jump. And he can't. The kiss, she's back. Catriel? Wait a second. You were invisible? <laughs> wait, there's more. Wait, 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 wait. There's more? post credit scene? Is Doctor Strange gonna walk out of that doorway? That's how it was for a while. And then, uh, I don't know what happened. But Nino showed up and that wasn't the case anymore. But even then, everyone else could see me except for you. And then you kissed me and suddenly you were, you were there. Right, uh, w was that bad? Have you been kissing everyone else in town, Catriel? Is that why they can see you? I mean, uh, I guess it's okay with me. I mean, we, you know, we kissed again. Wait, I think I figured out why Sam can see me now, come to think of it. I think it's because I, Say, catch you out. Y you play the guitar too, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of new to it. I've been practicing though. Yeah, glad to hear you're giving a good shot. And I was thinking, I was working on a special song. Once I got the melody, I, I couldn't get it out of my head. That was a song I was gonna show you. But I got a better idea. We'll need to practice and we'll play the song together. Oh, jo jam session. I'd love to. But if there's anything I don't know, you don't mind teaching me, right? Of course. I wasn't able to teach Sebastian about it, but since you probably got the basics down, this should be a piece of cake. I know you're busy and have some stuff to do today, but one last thing before you go. This might be a little fast, but do you want to go out with me, Catriel? It's still a happy ending. Oh my God. It's still a happy ending. Catriel is in bed. I didn't see her. Hey, Nino, do you think the world revolves around me? Let's all love Catriel? Random thought, I'm aware, but there's a lot of eccentricities that the other townspeople lack. <laughs> just, she's just talking shit about Concerned Dave's writing. Hi, Nino. I found a couple of letters in the code addressed to you and it reads as follows. Thank you so much for playing through the Catriel mod. I hope you enjoyed it in its chaotic entirety and I hope you'll be sticking around to see what other shenanigans I do as well as whatever other shenanigans my co-creator does as well. Sincerely, Tips. Tips. That's so cute. And here's the second one. If you played through this mod, I hope you'll enjoy this additional creation of an odd gal that was spun out on a whim. Pixel art and Stardew Valley art style was pretty neato to learn and I hope you like it. No clue what they're referring to, but the letters seem very grateful. Glad to see you're making someone out there happy. I'm grateful to you too, Nino. Oh my god, that is so cute. Hum dee hum dum. You know what? I'll tell you. Friend to friend. After all, you've done a lot for me, you know. Check this out. I'm planning on proposing to catch her out. Sam, you literally just started dating yesterday. But even though this is the most expensive thing I ever bought, this is totally worth it. I know me and Catriel have only known each other for a little while now, but trust me. We've been spending a lot of time working on that song to be perfect. Most of the time, I sneak out of my house around 2 a.m. just to go to her place to practice. And because her house is weird, no one hears a thing. I don't think I can thank you enough for bringing us together. But I'll try anyway, so thanks. Ketrao mentioned that if she would want a wedding, she would want it as close to home as possible. I don't know how to make sense of that, but I'll see what I can do. And you'll be the first to know. I'll see you around, Nino. Have it in Elliot's shack. Picking up the mermaid pendant, Sam cheerily walks back home. Are we gonna walk in on them proposing? Oh my God, they're in the void. Cat, are you ready? I think so, Sammy. The first run through, this song. Um, Catriel? Sorry, uh, I'm just thinking that there's something that's going to happen. Yeah, me walking in and ruining the moment. Hey, Nino, you tend to show up to things when they happen, huh? You know, it's great that you're here. We practice each part of the song, and today's the day we're going to be putting it all together. And since you helped us out with the song, it's only fair that you get to hear it live at... I still have no clue where this place is. Sam's like, I think we're in California. I'm not really sure. I should tell you about this place, Nino, since we're all good fr friends and all. This is the void. Well, since me and Sammy started practicing, I decided to clean it up. I managed to mask all of the weird glitching here, so you just see it as the nighttime sky. I kind of wish that Sebastian and Abigail were here, though. That can be arranged. Give me a second. 
Is she gonna just drag them kicking and screaming into the void? Oh, Jesus, from different entrances? Hey, guys, I got here as fast as I could. Abigail nearly snapped my arm off dragging me up here, but if it's for the new couple, so I'll make the like time. Abigail. And that should be everyone. You don't want Haley here, Cat? Well, Catriel, you ready? Absolutely. Let's do it. the hell? Sam actually has talent? That was incredible! Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing, you two. Kat, you should really consider joining the band. No, I... <laughs> I think I'll pass. I'm still terrified of being on a stage. That's a shame, but understandable. Still, that song was really good. Nothing like what Sam showed me when he was still writing it. I hope you enjoyed the song. But sorry about this. What? Whoa! Oh, we're gone, dude. No, 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 we, we are, we are, we are dead. We are left in purgatory forever. What are, what are you doing? I wanted to do something. More accurately, I wanted to ask you something. But I just wanted it to between the two of us. Sam? Will you marry me? She had one too? That guy on the beach must be making bank. W wait a second. I was gonna... <laughs> I can't believe this. The void was filled with laughter, followed by a sweet silence. And the house is back. And it's her song. Completed. Oh shit, I just stepped on something. What happened? Is this a Sam Hart event? Let me just skip through this. This is the final Hart event. You hear confused chattering from people gathered in Katriel's house. People were gathered in there? So this is where the ceremony- The ceremony will be held in their house? I have everything here. Let us begin. Oh. <gasps> When Katriel first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if she'd fit in with our community. <laughs> just, you don't change the speech for anyone, do you, Lewis? It is my great honor to unite Katriel and Sam in the bonds of marriage. I now pronounce you wife and husband. You may kiss. Katriel, <laughs> wait, I broke something. What happened? Everything broke. There's supposed to be confetti. I don't I don't know where we are. Even our portraits and sprites aren't working. I spent so much time playing it out, making sure the void could support everything. All the decorations, somehow convincing everyone to come here for a seemingly impromptu wedding. Everything has gone to waste. I don't really understand, Cat, but we are married, right? That's all I care about with you. It's okay if everything didn't go to plan, right? Sammy, you're right. We are still married, and we have to finish it like we're supposed to. Sure. Whatever you need to do, I'll do it. No. No need. Allow me. <clears throat> Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright. Eat your heart out, Haley.